I was sitting home, <laughs> peaceful, not invited to no cookouts, nothing like that, me and my baby. But it was like a holiday weekend, so I was on, had my phone in my hand, and I was waiting for somebody out there to give me something, because Memorial Day weekend, I know somebody out there is going to do something stupid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what happened? I wasn't looking for the drama. I wasn't looking for the shootouts and uh, that bullshit niggas did in Hollywood, Florida. I wasn't looking for none of that. I was looking for my entertainment peers to really go out on the ledge and get fucked by, I don't know, somebody, a scammer, fly somebody out and they go bad. <laughs> Shoplift. Mm. You know, I was waiting. I'll give you something. Yeah. Sure enough, <laughs> my man Envy came through. Yeah, he did. He was the only one. <laughs> Nobody else came through for me. I didn't see it. There's a little bit. There's a little bit. Oh, give it to me. So where should we start? We can start there, but some other somebody else came through with some drama for us. No pun intended. Pun intended. <laughs> oh my man See but I don't even count him That's my man That's my man Me gonna always give me a little something Mr. Consistent That's my man right there I like when he get on his phone <laughs> <laughs> He had a nigga too <laughs> He say I love people that say What's really on their mind On the internet Yo this is over a bitch <laughs> I, I said oh I be so I be so taken aback When I read these things That's what I mean Tell, Listen, tell, we, where we starting? We starting with Envy, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What chapter? <laughs> Being the, him, I feel like we should start at the beginning. It's a lot of things with Envy. Uh, him being accused mm. of stealing with his partner, mm. Caesar, in a scam, a real estate scam, they're saying. <laughs> Uh, gunplay also had to like When I first started with real estate, right? Uh, if you follow me, you know that I'm really cool with Clue. I'm really cool with Fabulous. And I don't waste I no time. I was really cool with Joe at one time. So when I started with the real Joe, estate. Joe who? Joe Button? Yeah, Joe, to Joe Corey. He said, that, he said that one time. <laughs> no, I was. I mean, I, I, we don't speak. So I mean, there's no stab. Nah, let me better play. Yeah, facts. So when I first started, I called each and one of them. Right, I called Clue, who's my brother. Yo, I'm getting into real estate. I'm doing well. No, Joe Biden. They didn't understand it. I remember calling Joe. Joe, me told, Joe told me it sounded like a scam. And I, and I called Fab, and, and, and Fab didn't get it. Yeah, rewind that just in case. I'm getting into real estate, and I'm doing well. We should do stuff together. It's years they ago. They didn't understand it. I remember calling Joe. Joe, me told, Joe told me it sounded like a scam. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that true? Did you, did you tell him it sounded like a scam? No, facts. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you know, like big facts. Okay. And what do you know? And they would have gotten away with it too <laughs> if it weren't for those meddling kids <laughs> and that dog and that fucking dog. But early in this clip, and this is what I mean about envy, and we'll get to all of the uh, Tony the closer gunplay stuff but just early in this clip he says let me play it again just so I'm clear be a fact sir. he said me and Joe don't speak he said that once no I was I mean we don't speak so I mean there's no stab you heard that right mm -hmm. yes thing about don't speak right see and somewhere me and Flip had a conversation about this I think at some point like, how do, you, how do you say that you don't speak to somebody? Like, say you haven't spoken, right? But to say you don't speak is like a definite. Mm -hmm. Right? There's certainty yes. to that. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now, let's go to later on in this clip. A few years ago, Envy calls me as someone that he is not speaking to. We have not spoken about anything. And he calls me and starts talking about some real estate shit. For me, that's odd. <laughs> we don't speak. And now you calling me, telling me that your man's with the government and he could get the buildings and there's a list, it'd be me, you, and Queen Latifah and whatever the fuck he was saying because I was walking my dog in the backyard or something. I want to stop listening at this point. But that just sounded fishy. You give me some money, we're going to take it, we're going to get this, we're going to get that. We're gonna... In my brain, 
I didn't need to, that wasn't, how, that wasn't where I was in my professional career where I needed to take a lump sum of money and give it to somebody I wasn't speaking to to do some real estate. There's people in place to kind of advise me that way. Mm -hmm. So I left it alone. <clears throat> now, we get to Envy and his business partner, Caesar. Tony, the closer, if you're unaware, has been on top of this investigation. <laughs> Uh, we're going to use the term, the word alleged, because who the fuck knows? But boy, is Tony the closer convincing. And what he's saying is that Caesar, not Envy, Caesar has been running around and taking money from people, scam, have, uh, selling people on something, taking their money and running off never to be seen or heard from. Mm. That's what Tony the Closer is saying. Now, he did hit me, but I left it alone. But Who's he kept he? going. Tony. Tony hit me, waved me in a private in, in the room to talk about, you know, but I like to watch it bubble first. And boy, did it bubble. Uh, that number is rumored to be eight figures now. Mm that he ran off with. That allegedly. people are allegedly saying that they gave him uh, under different pretenses. And is it the likes of the people that you named just a couple I don't know. The, I don't know who these people are. Mm -hmm. That's Tony the Closer's thing. But uh, Caesar addressed it. I want to read what he said. Just so we're clear. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all can talk while I do this, you know. Well, as a, as a real estate guy, I mean, is this, a, is this something that kind of happens a lot? I mean, it's a few different ways that you look at it. Um, of course, I've been following it. Uh, you have a whole bunch of people that say basically they invested money with Caesar and he was giving them a quality return. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then throughout, you know, you, you double down. So if, I, if you give me 100 grand and I give you 120, 130 back. That's a great return. That's a 20, 30% return. Got it. If you get 20, 30% of return on your money, you go far in this business, in any business. So they had a couple people that said, y'all gave him 100, he gave me 120, I gave him 100, he gave me 130, I gave him another 100, he disappeared. Mm -hmm. He's writing me balance mm -hmm. checks, he's not answering my phone calls. Um, Caesar is a real estate professional. He has been for some time. Okay. Um, successful, very okay. successful, um, especially by... Um, Mom and pop, not even mom and pop standards. I ain't gonna disrespect him, man. He's been successful. I think what happens is COVID happened. Uh -huh. And in COVID, I'm not bailing them out because your morals is your morals. And COVID don't have nothing to do with you not answering nobody's phone calls. Right. True. You get what I'm saying? Um, COVID happened and it, and it put a damper on a whole bunch of real estate investors and developers. It's mm. a difference in, you know what I mean? Developing is when you're building shit from the ground up and you're taking land and you're making use of that land. Um, I think he took a ton of money. Even Envy said he gave him a half a mil, and that's the deal that they are kind of still up in the air on. Okay. Um, and hearing Envy speak, he said that basically every every deal he's ever done with Caesar was on the up and up, except for that particular one. They okay. bought a school, and they were going to renovate the school and make it housing. Okay. And that deal is kind of stuck. What happens is, and again, I don't want to bail him out because your morals is your morals. But a lot of times when you give people money for investments, investments could go up and go down. Mm -hmm. If I give a, a stockbroker my money, ain't no guarantee that that money going to turn into profit. profit. Right. Right. So, um, but in our culture, we just be looking for the quick flip. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We always want the quick flip. If I get a nigga 100, he got to give me some money back. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might lose your 100 grand. Mm -hmm. That don't have nothing to do with a nigga not answering your phone calls. That don't have nothing to do with a nigga giving you bounce checks. Mm -hmm. So that's some bullshit. But in investing, sometimes you will lose your bread. So I think that um, he took a ton of people's money, and they saying that they never got their money back, and he not answering their calls. So that's some bullshit. Caesar says, I was not going to address this on social media because this platform is used to tear people down, and I've always wanted to use my platform to inspire. I bet you did, buddy. However, the fact that I'm being dragged on lives and posts doesn't bother me at all because I know who I am and who I'm not. The thing that bothers me is my wife, the mother of my child, is being verbally attacked. 
The bigger issue here is my business partner and friend DJ Envy is being brought into something he has nothing to do with. He was never given any money to do any real estate deals with me, nor has he been party to uh, nor is nor has he been party to any deals, negotiations, nor partnerships that I have had with investors that have invested in real estate with me. Him, his family, nor his reputation should be pulled into dealings he was never involved in. He goes on to say, so while the clout chasers chase clout, I'm going to be the man that I am and ask those that feel like I've wronged them to get on a call with me and let's talk through how we move forward. My email nor my email nor phone number have changed. I'm not ducking anybody. I'm not dodging any, uh, nobody. I'm busy over here trying to hold my empire together so these false allegations can stop. I ask each of you that have been on lives and posts recently to fact check, do your research, check your source, research his background. You can't sweep someone else's door when yours is money. Yes, you can. I'm not going to post your misfortune over the years, but I don't care about all of this. That was his response. Vague. Again, Super if you're not vague. answering my phone calls, my nigga, it's nothing really you can say to me. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you ain't answering my phone calls, I don't want to hear none of that shit. Yeah, don't tell me your number mm -hmm. ain't changed, your email ain't changed, and you're not and answering, you ain't my, answering my phone. phone. So that's the, the jig is up. The jig is up. Like, all right, the jig is up. Um, I had an argument with one of my boys. He, he a real estate investor, and um, he was getting on NVS, and and I kind of looked at it a little differently. Um, I don't think envy's to really be held to the fire for some shit that somebody that yeah is doing. So he equated it to the podcast. He said, "Yo, if you were given, uh, if you start taking people money." Uh -huh. Me, Antoine. If I start taking people money and guiding them into the real estate arena, mm -hmm. and Joe gave me a platform in which to do so, mm -hmm. right? He was like, people would hold Joe accountable, and yeah. I was like, but that's unfair. Yeah, I don't. Think I don't agree that they, Joe should be held accountable um, if he gave me a platform and I started doing some shiesty shit. I don't think that Joe is a culprit in that. I don't even think Joe is even... complicit in that, because in my opinion, to be complicit, you got to have knowledge. Okay, I disagree with you. I, I, you don't. You don't need. You don't need to have knowledge to be complicit. That's not true. I think so. Because are you really complicit? Yes. How? How? If if after investigation, they can show. Well, first of all, if the sum gets too large, it's gonna be big investigation. True. It's a fact. That's mm -hmm, a fact. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. And when that investigation happens, all they're gonna look to see is did Envy take one penny. From an illegal operation. True. That's a They're fact. not going to look to see if he knew, if he didn't know. If they can prove he took a penny, then he's in. Mm -hmm. Yes. He's, he's down. New Joe Biden.